What's going on everyone? My name is Cynic and welcome to a brand new Is It Worth It episode here in Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now in case you guys have missed out on any of the previous episodes or are curious to know about a certain epic or want some more information on an epic, there's a card in the top right hand corner that will take you to the entire playlist for both multiplayer and zombies. So if you guys are curious, feel free to check that out at any point during or after this video. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the epic of today which is the Volk Retro. Now the Volk Retro is a very unique epic since it comes with the Ballistic Converter which effectively makes this the only weapon in the entire game that changes elements. You know, there's many epics in this game that have Effect, the weapons fire rate, the Oni Kaiken, the Volkaliath, the R3K wrecked to just an MFU. And then you have the UDM epic, which I don't remember what the name of it is, but it changes the category of that weapon altogether. So it goes from a pistol to a sniper. The UDM epic is the only weapon of its kind, and likewise, the Volk Retro is the only epic of its kind. There's no other weapon inside this game that changes the elements from energy to ballistic or vice versa. So this makes this weapon very unique, at least concept wise. Now, before we get straight into talking about how this weapon performs throughout the duration of a zombies game like normal, Let's talk a little bit about first impressions. So now that this weapon is a ballistic rifle, you're going to notice that you have access to attachments that weren't accessible for the basic Volk before. Most notably extended mags. So you automatically with the retro are going to have much more ammunition than you did with the basic Volk. Another thing you're going to notice is there's a little more kick with this weapon than with the basic Volk and Infinity War did this to kind of mimic the notorious AK-47 type of kick. So you're going to have a little more kick. It also sounds like the weapon fire rate is a little bit slower, which isn't too bad, just a little noticeably slower and, and I think think that kind of goes in accordance with the kick with the weapon so a little more kick a little bit of a slower fire rate much more ammunition that's things you're going to notice right off the bat you're also going to notice that the retro oddly enough is a little weaker than the base volk and i say that's odd because normally energy weapons are point builders they're not very efficient in terms of killing while ballistic weapons are the other way around they're a little better at having a quicker time to kill the retro oddly enough seems to be a little weaker and ultimately takes a little bit longer to put down the zombies i was actually messing around with a little bit too and it seemed like the erad put down zombies a little bit faster in the retro which was kind of disappointing to be completely honest with you guys so those are just some of the things you're going to notice right off the bat now in terms of using this gun throughout a zombies game my advice is use this as a point builder this gun non-packed has no power and therefore you're not safe with just this gun use it as a point builder have a stronger backup weapon in case things get sketchy because it will take a while to kill with just this gun keep in mind on round five it took five to six shots to the body to kill with this weapon while the nv4 needs only two to three at this time so unless you're cocky and you want to put your training skills to the test you can can use just this i mean you have the ammo with extended mags but if you run into any crogs and i'm not talking about the big ass brute crog just the normal crogs you will definitely have a struggle as you guys can see right here on round seven i'm having a hard time killing these damn things so again just have a backup weapon if not really work or really work on trying to get this weapon pack a punch because that's where the power on this weapon really comes from so i ended up pack a punching on round 12 and i couldn't go much further than that you know you guys know i normally like waiting for the very last minute when my non-packed weapon is doing absolutely nothing to the zombies and round 12 was that point for the retro. So packed once, the retro is a solid gun all the way up until about round 20. Packed for the first time, the fire rate is much faster, killing is much easier, and do drops becomes your best friend because it removes all recoil this weapon will have, so this weapon pretty much becomes a freaking laser beam. Now, the weird thing is, even though the retro is packed, it did feel a little bit weaker than what the base Volk would be doing damage-wise if the base Volk was also pack a punch at this point. And that's the thing, with the retro, you're constantly going to notice whether if it's non-packed, packed, or double packed, it's always going to be doing a little bit less damage than the base volt and i guess you can argue that's intentionally done because the retro does have more ammunition and since that's the case it's meant to be weaker for balancing purposes which does seem to make a little more sense when this weapon's double packed considering you have 117 rounds in your clip 819 rounds in reserve but still something to note you're always going to be aware that the retro does do a little bit less damage than the base volt and ultimately that's just the way it is it's the base volt with more kick slower fire rate and much more ammunition now a couple things i wanted to note and talk a little bit about is some perks most notably bang bangs and dew drops now i don't know about you guys but i always thought bang bang was broken in this game and personally with the volk i've never equipped bang bangs because the fire rate became too crazy now experimenting a little bit more with the retro i've come to find out that bang bangs works differently with different guns it doesn't work the same all the time so on some weapons you actually get double tap 1.0 other weapons you get double tap 2.0 1.0 is more noticeable with the volk 2.0 is more noticeable with the mammoth where your one shot kills actually last a little bit longer and your fire rate is a little bit faster whereas with the volt with bang bangs you just get a faster fire rate and that's it so that's just something i've discovered a little bit recently let me know down in the comment section below if that makes a little more sense to you because i know a lot of people thought bang bangs was broken and saying this is how it works makes a little more sense it's kind of stupid but it makes a little more sense i don't know if it's made intentionally to work like this but anyways the way bang bang still works with the retro is it's still double tap 1.0 but it bumps the fire rate to be a notch above the basic volks but it doesn't become all crazy and out of control like the volk does when it has bang bangs another 
the thing is, I don't know if this happens a lot with other weapons, but I noticed this with the retro. When you have bang bangs, it kind of cancels out the secondary attribute that dewdrops gives you. And in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, whenever you're aiming for a certain period of time with dewdrops, you get this little red ping on your iron sight. And then as you guys can see, whenever you shoot after that, you get these extra different types of hit markers. You get green hit markers, and then ultimately you get these red hit markers that basically signify that the zombie dies, but the hit markers are a little bit different than normal. Anyways, what the second attribute does, it's kind of like a cheap version of bang bangs. It doesn't speed up your fire rate, but it does double your damage. And whenever you have bang bangs, it seems to cancel this effect out. So you don't get those extra green hit markers that basically say, hey, I'm doubling your damage. So just be aware that for some reason, bang bang seems to cancel this dew drops effect out. So in case you guys didn't know that about dew drops, I'm sure I just added a little more worth to that perk for you guys. But all in all, is the Volk retro worth it? Strictly in zombies. Well, non pack a punch, it is weaker than the Volk, so it does make building up points earlier a little bit easier packed and non-packed this thing is a beast when it comes to the amount of ammunition that you're given but again you do feel like it is a little weaker than what the base volk would have been doing damage wise at that point in time i would say it's a seven and a seven and a half out of ten i wouldn't really say it's worth it there's definitely better epics out there now if you guys had like all of the good epics in the game and you just wanted something different something unique and then something that you wouldn't completely regret then i'd say it's completely worth it especially if you guys are the type of people that like to rack up points very easily in zombie then yeah I would say this guns a little better at doing that than what the Volk is but if you're looking for something that has a little more power then unfortunately I don't really think you'll find it with the Volk retro another thing I want to know is that this weapon was exclusive to the God days of summer week four or I believe it was week three event so as of now you can't get it you missed your opportunity but I'm sure within two to three weeks time they'll have this weapon within the quartermaster or maybe even the prototype lab and you'll be able to craft it like we can with the K bar igloo now back when that was exclusive for the 25 days of what was it 25 days days of Christmas and then hopefully by that time this weapon will be buffed and if it has a small buff I'm sure it'd be 100% worth it my thing is it was a little too weak but anyways that's it for today's is it worth that episode thank you guys so much for watching and stopping by hopefully it did help you guys out hopefully you guys did enjoy it found out a little bit more about dewdrops and the way this weapon works my name is cynic and I'll see you guys all next time with a brand new video